The first stop most people head to as soon as they arrive in the Dreamscape is the OT Mall. The Dreamscape sales stores here is super famous. There are also stores that sell luxury goods, apparel, trendy toys, and even cars. As long as you have enough alfalfa coins, you can buy anything you fancy. Items purchased in the Dreamscape can also be brought into reality through an extra service. Unfortunately, the transfer of automobiles to the real world is not available at the moment. You can come back for them next time. Just outside the mall is the plaza! Follow me! I'll buy you a nice meal. Give him a kid's meal. <laughs> We're here. Hey, have you ever heard of this saying that goes, In a dream, hunger is the most precious spice. Well, you can find all kinds of local delicacies here. Clocky pizza, oat cake rolls, alfalfa salad, and the classic Soul Glad. Feel free to pick up anything you like. Today, it's my treat. Mm, that shouldn't be a problem. I have some savings left. Are you done ordering? Then I'll pay up! I love their oatcake rolls. I get one from here every day. Well, that's why I only have one per day. Let's walk while we eat. It's time to head to the next stop. Give him a kid's meal. <laughs> Ugh, I still gotta get in line in a dream. This is the luxury store I told you about earlier. If we keep going, we'll reach Glax Avenue, which is the road to Golden Hour. way. Let me show you something interesting. Look! That's the statue of Clocky, Penicone's famous cartoon character. It's the oldest and most famous animation from Penicone. It follows the adventurous life of Clocky and his friends in the town of Dreamville. To date, over 10,000 episodes have aired. Ominous! Clocky is a household name here. There would never be anything ominous about him. Right? By the way, do you know that Clocky's design is said to be inspired by none other than the legendary watchmaker? I can't believe you haven't heard of him. He was a legendary tycoon in the history of Penicone, the founder of the Dreamscape, the man who turned dreams into reality. There were different stories out there about the watchmaker's origin. Some said he was a traveling merchant from beyond the sky. Some claimed that he was exiled to Penicone as a prisoner. And some speculate that he wasn't even a real person, just a symbol. The true story is anyone's guess, but everyone aspires to emulate his success and be the next watchmaker. As his inspiring story became known across the cosmos, those with a dream flocked to Penicone in droves. They held feast after feast, eventually building the planet of festivities we have today. Everyone in Penicone knows this name. The cartoon character Clocky is portrayed as reckless and full of hot air. But I believe the real watchmaker was a nameless. After all, 
Creating the dreamscape sounds like just the kind of thing a trailblazer would do. Hmm. Hold on. If the watchmaker really was a nameless, wouldn't that make him your predecessor? Would you like to take a picture with him? Of course not! What were you thinking? Hey! Hey, hey, hey! Help! Help me! Huh? What's that? It looks like there's something on Clocky's face. Help! Help me! Pull me out! Help me! Is there something wrong with Clocky's statue? Why did you suddenly jump just now? A bird with sharp edges and points. <laughs> um, I don't think I saw it. Well, <laughs> if you're okay, let's move on to the next stop, which is just a stone's throw away from here. Please follow me. Checked off the list. <sighs> My dream. Can you see that building in the distance? That's the famous Grand Theater, another great landmark of Penacony. Has a pretty unique shape, doesn't he? In the real world, it was originally the central prison of Astana. The family renovated it in the dreamscape and transformed it into the glorious Penacony Grand Theater. Since the moment it was built, the Grand Theater has graced the entire dreamscape with its rendition of the Odes of Harmony. During the Once in an Era Charmony Festival, family members will gather at the theater to welcome the harmonious choir that blesses Penacony with everlasting peace. And here we are! The best viewing spot in all of Golden Hour. Look, there's even a telescope here. When the Charmony Festival arrives, remember to be here early if you want to get a seat. Next, I'll bring you somewhere you can really have fun. That place up ahead is Idine Park. Everything here is themed around Soul Glad. It's a little crowded, so make sure you stay close to me. This is the largest park in Golden Hour. It represents the soda culture of Penacony. The gigantic soda bottle houses the headquarters of the Soul Glad Enterprise. Soul Glad is said to have originated from a sweet medicinal syrup popular during the prison era. Invented by a man named Susa, it was thus called the Sisa Juice. Idine, an interstellar traveling merchant, saw the potential in the beverage and purchased the formula. Ideon then carbonated the beverage and renamed it Soul Glad. He also pioneered the school of thought known as Syrupism, in which he promoted the consumption of Soul Glad as a new kind of lifestyle. And just like that, he created a commercial miracle. Did you know? One of the ingredients in the original recipe for Susa juice known as Dreamleaf, has gone extinct. That means the only place you can get a taste of Apocal Soul Glad is in Penacony's dreamscape. Now this is also the only place where one can fully experience the core values of syrupism. Time we 
it's for no one. Let me show you around. See these musical instruments playing themselves with no human performer in Penacony? Many objects and facilities have gained self-awareness due to the influence of the Memoria. After being tamed by the family, some of them form the Sweet Dreams troupe to provide entertainment for guests. Be careful, though. Sometimes these animated objects can be affected by dangerous emotions or memories, and, uh, transform into the destructive Dream Jolt troupe. <laughs> if you ever run into them, go ask the security guards nearby for help. Hey, there's a ride attendant over there! Let me get some Ideen tokens for you, with the- Hi there! This is my friend's first visit to Pinnacony. May I get some Ideen tokens for him? Of course! Please show me your dreamscape pass. Name... Here's your dreamscape pass and tokens. Be sure to keep a good hold of them. Have a good time! How many tokens are there? Ten! You may now enjoy the attractions in Penacony to the fullest. Thanks! <laughs> Let's try out some of the games nearby. Our goal is to use all the tokens. Let's do it! Let me see, which one should we try first? Since this is your first time here, I say we start with the easiest games. The Dreamy Slots and Lucky Wheel are pretty straightforward. some drinks. What's taking Firefly so long? Huh? She's heading towards the bar? Please do not hit the entertainment facilities. Hmm. I've used up all the tokens. Time to meet Firefly. Amazing, isn't it? I'm not sad. It's just that this dream is so loving and forgiving. It's vast and deep like an ocean. Even the humblest people can find solace here. 
I really appreciate your help earlier today. That's why I took the chance to introduce this beautiful place to you. It was willing to accept me, even though I didn't belong here. I've grown very fond of this place, and that makes me want to... <laughs> share it with others. I... I am a lawful resident. At least now I am. Hey, could you come closer? Closer, please, I have a question for you. Did you travel here alone? <laughs> I see. I'm not sure whether you've realized it or not, but I took you through a very long scenic route and visited all kinds of places just now because... Well... Someone's been following you. Don't turn around. I'm certain that you're his target. He's been on our tail since we parted ways with Mr. Gallagher. I wondered whether he was a friend of yours, but my instincts told me he wasn't. He's about five feet, nine inches tall, give or take. Judging from his strong build, it's clear that he's well-trained. He walks in long strides, but his steps are light and barely audible. That way of walking doesn't leave footprints. He looks like a skilled fighter. The covert kind. He has large palms, yet his fingers are slender and nimble. I reckon he has experience using knives, like a short sword or a dagger. Do you know anybody like that? A maroon jacket, emerald eyes, dark blue hair. Ah, he's coming our way! Hey, well, if it isn't my most loyal customer, the Trailblazer guy. It's been such a long time, old friend. What a coincidence to run into you here. Oh my, I'm in luck today. Yes, it's none other than your old friend, Sampo. You're surprised to see me? <laughs> you know, it's thanks to you that I can be here. You helped your LO6 open up to the outside. Um, this gentleman is? Oh, Miss March, don't you remember me? After all the favors I did for you all in Bellabog? My name is Firefly. I'm a stage performer from the Iris family. Oh, no wonder. I was just thinking, there's no way Miss March could change her appearance so dramatically in such a short time. It's my pleasure to meet you. My name is Sempo, and I'm an old pal of his. Oh, seems like we're getting on the same wavelength now. Mr. Sampo, what's the purpose of your visit to Penacony? My purpose? <laughs> You're funny. What else can I do in Penacony? Well, I just hang around, daydream, and do the things that anyone on vacation would do. Speaking of which... Old pal, since fate brings us here, I'm obliged to give you a tour of this area. I've been watching you two for a long time. Miss Firefly does know Penacony well, but when it comes to entertainment for grown-ups, I think I can do much better. <sighs> entertainment for grown-ups? Looks like my analysis is spot on. <laughs> Follow me, you two. Let me give you a taste of the adult world. <laughs> 